that's I'm Darzal. I'm back at you again for more live stream stuff. Spartan dude. Hi, how you doing? You're the only one here, so I'm streaming just for you. Nobody else can watch this. If you're not, if your name is not Spartan dude. Uh, you may leave. <laughs> oh. I am on the wrong damn profile for my... No, not that. For my orb weaver thingy here. Yes, indeed. It needs to be on standard. There we go. Yeah, now I can walk around and stuff. Hooray. Ah. Uh. Uh, we got poker over there. We got things over here. We got things over here. Got a black dot here. Pick up hay bale. Why can I pick up a hay bale? Arthur. Move the hay to the feeding point. All right. I can. I'm feeding things. Look! Look how strong I am. Can't stay for long, but I just wanted to say hi. Well, hello, Rain Man. Hi, Rain Man. Yo, what up, Rain Man? Uh. Come on, horses. You, we got, we got hay. That increased my dead eye, apparently. Go figure. Uh. Uh. Yeah, uh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey, yeah. We got, what do we got over here? Oh, chores? I'm going to do more chores? Okay, we're just going to do some chores, I guess. Let's do that. Look at us. Sex ain't going to move themselves, I suppose. We're, we're doing, we're being productive and shit. Look at us. Hello, Arthur. Hi, Jack. You gonna tell me about the pole stuck up my ass? No? Okay. No, none, Arthur. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here, what they want? I have no idea. Do they see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why am I working so hard? Why am I doing chores? Because I'm just a productive member of society, I suppose. They're holding that weird. Look at them. Look at them hold that thing. It's like, ew, this thing's so gross. Uh, gross. Ew, I'm going to put it on the fire. Ew. All right, horsies. Don't poop on me. I mean, it is increasing my dead eye, right? So, beneficial. What is this? Oh, it just, just, just says horse. That's just a, that's just. What the fuck is that? Yeah, just a horse station. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. I knew that. Yep. Play some dominoes with Tilly. Can donate to the camp. Play some poker over there. Talk to Dutch. Ah. <sighs>
So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? Nope. I've been with your mama, too. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I've noticed... This is not what I want to deal with right now, okay? Well, so leave me alone, will you? You pathetic. Who? You're hey! pathetic man, John Mars. Hey, you leave my John alone! Don't I know it? Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good. Good boy. You get eaten by a alligator. Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. All right. What is it now? All right. What are you up to? Thinking of heading out in a bit. OK. We'll catch up with you later then. Sure, Arthur. My best friend, John. Mary Beth. Derp derp. Maybe I should go. Let's do some fishing. Mark Anderson, hello. Let's do some fishing. We're at camp. We got water right here. Let's do some fishing. Fuck it. Fuck it. In the bucket. Let's do it. Let's go. Cause we got a boat right here. You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Ah, oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. Along with a lot of whiskey. Okay, I'll well, catch you Irish. then. All right, then. All right, let's, we're gonna do some fishing. I don't know if what, if, if what I'm seeing off in the distance is, uh, oh, there we go. There's a biggie. Boy, hey, perfect. Fishing Maybe. lore. That's right. Boom, shaka laka. Sorry, come here. Come here. Keep you. Woo wee. Here we go. Gotcha. Ha -ha. 
Darth Jimmy? I don't know if I just said hi to you. I read your message, but then I, I, I was catching a fish. Hi, Darth Jimmy. Hello. There you go. Come here, you. Come here, you. Push up. A little more. You're almost done. You, sir, are a fish. You are a fish. Look at that. I can tell because you're very fishy. Sorry, but <laughs> you're mine. That's right. Come here, you. You're gonna feed the camp. All these four pounders. Look at them. Ridiculous. All right, we're done here. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy. That's because you're a drunk and no one likes you. Sorry, that's just facts. We're stuck in the ship now, Mr. Morgan. In the ship. We're drowning in mud. For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. The very least. I'm sure. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Yes. Taking a stew bolt. I'm gonna eat it. Eating that stew. And there's yep, just drop it on the floor, that's sanitary. Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. What? What's your Take problem? Take it easy with that stuff. This is taking it easy. Take it easy! All right, Dutch. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania. 
fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to Meek. a kind of truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a creek around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Right. I just caught a couple of fish. Do we really need more fish? I don't think we do. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Crick! Get that crick! You don't look too rosy, old friend. Tom. This warmer weather would... My days are looking good along over in Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Okay, girl. Going fishing. Have some carrots. Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. Okay. I was going to change my clothes, but I don't need to. Good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. Yes. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. Uh, yeah, I'm. I am doing some Red Dead, but uh, well now, Red Dead Online, but not for stream. Just for me and my girl. With the plan. It's all right. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch. Dutch has asked the gang to not use weapons discreet. to cause trouble in roads. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. This is itchy nose. For you, Jose. Got an itchy You'll be fucking nose. Not a runny like nose, a just an itchy nose. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa. Oh, Idiot. I don't like. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have to kill these guys. Yep, there we go. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. 
This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Okay. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur, Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. That's what the fastest train in the pull? game. Holy shit. Uh, looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Inside the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. <gasps> you cop bastards! I didn't do nothing! Ah. Ah. Law Bill! You're done now! Okay. Bam. Go to hell! Damn fool! Damn fool! Oh, he got away. Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you. Running ain't gonna help. Asshole. 
Ooh, sweet corn. Thing all right in there? Hey, my gun. Oh, just a barrel. Look at all that. That's a lot of blood. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? I take him in. Come on. What about the others? A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. Come on, let's get out of here. Where's the other guy? Let's go then. All right, mount up. It's a nice train. I got one just like it in, Pl in Planet Coaster. Okay. All right, let's girl. take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Wait, Anders whoa, there yeah. The All right. The operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. <sighs> Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rup sir you don't know it where we're headed right now ain't what it was before the war but it has its charms i'm sure you already know of the braithwaites like i said just got down here another big family in these parts they have an estate west of here awful people truly awful they've been fighting with the grays for as long as i can remember sounds like quite the place you got here Dutch has asked the gang not to use weapons or cause trouble in roads. Well, it's a good thing I robbed the gun store before that. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Oh, yeah. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. Archibald. We're stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Do do do. Come on, partner. I'm... Before he wakes up. Well, if he does okay, wake up, who way. cares? Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray. We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Now, Man what about the other two? For justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well... We're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan. 
the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of the rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> so the game's running a lot better today. I reinstalled the driver last night. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Technically... Great. Technically, Hosea, aren't we fishing? Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Well... Yep. Bank. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Yeah! Yeah! So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. That means Open Pete. the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Chelonis. What a terrible thought. Huh? So what Chelonis said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you. I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. It's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. 
This is the spot. Down to the left there. It's a little late for for bounty uh, for 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 fishing. You want to you want to do it, you know, at the at the break of light, not at the you know night. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. <laughs> I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come oh, on. I'm sure. Careful. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Be uh. oh, let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. This is the perfect time. Catch the best fish at dawn and dusk. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but... You'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. I know how to use lures. I only fish with lures in real life. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Nice, you hooked him. They're nibbling. There, hooked them. I got a bite. Ha! Got ya! Damn it, I lost him. Beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty yeah. pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Got him? Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not oh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish? Or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. You hooked him. Yeah, I'm working on it. 
I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Yeehaw! Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. <sighs> fishy, Remember fishy, those fish. big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open do, do, and do, wild, do, do. the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out and all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. There we go. You're getting the hang of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm way ahead of you guys. Keeping that one, eh? Keeping all of them. It's, it's money and food. Finish this up now. I'm bored. We're not even having conversations now. Arthur's got a bite. Not reel him in, Arthur. I know. Been catching all these fish without you. responsive as Sea of Thieves uh, fishing. It's similar, but it's not as responsive, and therefore not as good. Not bad, Arthur. There we go. Are we done now? Looks like another nice fish. Bam. Boom. Nice fish. Steelhead trout. Ooh. Yeah, That'll I'll grill it. up nice. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. 
What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the tins was done. I couldn't wait till the tins was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tater got burnt and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know. What song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Maybe it is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round around around. We care not for the martial men that do our state's disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our state's maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And the end is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round of round of round of round of round of round of. Oh my God! Stop singing! It's horrific. Bravo! Bravo! You know we should not let the folks back in camp think we had too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> oh, at least it's fucking done. That was the worst. We're not par parking think, it at the dock. I. Put it on mean, the dock and we, tie it up. We're gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Uh, itchy fucking nose today, man. Well, I am going to take in the view. Goodbye, Dutch. I'll give these fish to Pearson. What about my fish? I got a lot of fish too. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. The what women. choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Feeding the women. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> All right.
Oh, it is morning. Never mind. You should have been ashamed. No, thank you. I like to eat fish, not swim. You know, one day you stop the one. I'm so bushy. I'm a very bushy man. I'm not gonna be fine, Dutch. Oh, that was fun today. Huh. You didn't have to chase that train. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Ledger. Other than the boat. Yeah, Alright. Cocaine chewing gum and shit. Yeah, some cocaine going. Bang, bang, bang! A bang, bang, bang. The bastards have spotted me at the bar and taken the bullets out of me gun. Alright. Uh. Yeah, other than just getting the boats, we're just about done with the camp for the moment. Uh, let's contribute a little bit. I should have some uh, valuables to donate. And I does. Uh, uh. Molly, my dear. I'm miserable, Dodge. Uh, I put I put three most expensive items in. Boom! It's got 120 now. Fantastic. Contribute. Nope, I didn't mean to contribute. Suddenly, there's money in there too. It's not even just stuff. Just, just yeah. Okay. All right. We'll finish up the uh, medicine wagon. Bang. And there you go. Other than the boat, which is 360. Uh, camp is done. Just gotta get the boat done. We get the boat done, we're done. Who knows, but there'll probably be more to build and unlock and contribute for. Probably. Weapons forbidden here. Well, how am I gonna get... How am I gonna get him? To pay me. Sniff around... Caligia Hall. Caligia. That guy. Winton Holmes. That guy. Now, where's that legendary? fish. They were talking about a legendary fish. I can't remember. Veterans Homestead. I can't remember what they were saying about the fish. Yeah, there's the legendary bear. I got that.
$60 bounty in Valentine. $400 bounty in Strawberry. Wanted dead or alive there. $400. Well, if there was any time to turn myself in, now would be the time to do that. Because I ain't got the money. I ain't got loads of money. I got little bits of money. Right? So that makes sense. So let's go do that. Let's go turn myself in. So that way, I don't have bounty hunters when I'm in Strawberry anymore. Makes sense to me. Contribute. Do do? Uh, yeah, it's only 25 bucks as well. I'll just put the 25 bucks in here. That'll help me later on. Give money. Oh, darling. That sounds like Becky Lynch. Ah, oh, darling. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. It does sound like Becky. All right, well, I should be getting on. Well, I'm not much company. Take care. Nice Irish last over there. Purr. I can't do it. I can't purr. purr. Uh, going to strawberry. Flat broke. We gotta go find. I'd have been done for if it wasn't for that fella. Well, I can imagine. Not a soul around, or as far as the eye could see. Must have taken some strength to get that thing open. Ah, oh, well, you know, I'd, I'd have. It's you! Oh my goodness! Hey, I can't believe it! Hey, I was just talking about you. How a complete stranger saved me from certain demise. Well, fine thing to do, helping a fella out like that. I hoped I'd run into you again. I. I'd really like to pay you back in some way, you know? Hey, I, I got plenty of credit at this store here. You know, you pick out anything you want, free of charge. All right, sounds good. Oh, that's real nice. One good deed deserves another. What kind of hunter gets caught in his own trap anyways? Better <clears throat> outside, got a bit by his own trap. He said he'd cover me if I put something on his tail. I'm the reason he still got that leg. Oh, that idiot. A few folks around here would rather you left him there. But hey, if that's what he wants, take a look around. be making tracks. Hope you feel better soon. Yeah, yeah. Pocket or a watch. Oats. Ground coffee. Ooh, I do like my coffee. I also do like my booze. I also do like cigars. Ooh, yum. Chewing tobacco. Horse reviver. That's five bucks right there. Uh, can I order things from 
the catalog. Now, I think the, a pocket watch is the most expensive thing. Partner? <laughs> Nothing like work to set you straight, right? In my experience, it's the only way anything gets done. Don't really care about the clothes. I, I look how I want to look. I have the ammo I need. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'd love a semi-auto shotgun. Uh, a free double action revolver, though. Good choice. I'll let him know. Alright, I got a free double action revolver. That just looks like ass. Ain't nothing to clean. Pick something up. Thanks again. Glad to hear it. Least I could do. Yep, I'm gonna go to jail for a few years now for my four hundred dollar bounty. I places to be. Careful there. Boom. They'll give anyone a badge these days, won't they? You're talking to the law right now. Shut it. Why don't you hightail it right now? Hey. I've seen your okay, damn face I'll before. Do as you're told and come along with me. And that's how it works. Now I ain't got a $400 bounty. Because I'm smart. Oh shit. What's this? What's happening here? <laughs> John! My best friend John has come for me! John! No, John! Oh, yeah. damn it, John! <laughs> I'm supposed to have been in jail so I can get wipe out the bounty. Did it still happen? I mean, Dutch got me out of Valentine once. No. No, I'm I'm still I'm still wanted. All right, great. I'm gonna go back at some point soon. Oh, look who came back to us. Okay, I think we lost him. Whew. I owe you two. We thought you'd appreciate a visit. Okay, we'll see you back at camp, Arthur. Try to stay out of jail, will you? Yeah, I suppose. I pose. Uh. Okay, that's another home robbery from there, but I don't want to do it. I just want to turn myself in, that's all. I just want to. I just want to get this bounty out of here. Came all this way to do that. Uh, 
All right, well, I guess I'll just make camp, sleep till tomorrow, and try again. But that's, that was really sweet, John. John, My best friend John came. Thank you, best friend John. I've been there, center of the galaxy. I really need to set up my, my fucking Elite Dangerous again. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Look at all them bounty hunters. Law dog, bounty hunter, yeah. Glad I can make it to the stream. Also, you jinxed me as my hard drive Monday night. Oh, did your hard drive die too? Damn. Unbelievable, eh? Unbelievable. Maybe I can fast travel out of here real quick. No, I cannot. this train. It's best to get a move on now. Damn it. 
got a bounty of 130. Hey, this this train was not worth my time. Here he is. Drop him now. Go. Hey, settle down. You done good, girl. That's right. You're so good and pretty. Yeah. Now we get off the road and they can't find us. Ha ha ha. That's how that work. Ha ha ha. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that train meant nothing. So that's good. I'm glad. I'm really yeah. glad that the train didn't pay off. Hello there. Rum. Well, don't mind if I do. Get back to Strawberry now? Maybe I should uh, go to Valentine. Get that, get this bounty out of the way. Let's do that. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Why out of the damn way. Get away. You can find treasure maps. Why are you telling me about treasure maps suddenly? What do I have? Okay, that's that one. Just open my damn door. Come here, Jesus. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't think that was around here. Yeah. I'm missing something? No? Alright then.
Look at me all being a, a uh, an artiste, if you will. Dinosaur bones down there because I found this last time during the previous playthrough. Dinosaur bones. Campsite. Might do something with the campsite. Should we do something with the campsite? I think we should do something with the campsite. Stay, girl. Now, I don't think any of these horses is going to be better than, say, glue. Kentucky Saddlers. They ain't gonna be better. No. They are, in fact, worse in every way compared to you, girl. Therefore, why bother? Let's go rob a campsite. Let's go ruin somebody's day. I don't want no friends. Why don't you make tracks? Saddlers. Run along. I don't want to see you no more. You want to say hi Did to this? Yeah, that's what I thought. gets attacked to mediocre horse. This horse is not mediocre. Look at its stats. Mediocre. How dare you talk that way about my glue.
Yum, assorted awful. I don't know why they call it awful. They should call it fantastic. Assorted fantastic. No, the stats are good because the horse is good. I think you're just jealous that you can't have a horse that looks as cool as glue. You have to you have to have some stupid fucking white horse from Arabia. <laughs> There you go. Nice and warm. Nice and warm. Show me her card. I, d I did show you the card. Boom. Glue is the best. Aren't you the best girl? Yeah, and you're a pretty one too. Yeah. yeah easy girl. Ah, you good girl? Okay, let's go to jail. Come on. Yep. Some friendly competition? Competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? I win! Thanks for the ten bucks. Ooh, eleven bucks. And a gold wedding wing. But in ring, fantastic. Damn heat rashes, yeah. Damn heat rashes I know. Hey, hey how you doing? Mugshot, hello. Just a scratch. Ooh, a gold nugget. That's twenty-five dollars. Coat is dapple gray, I guess. I don't know. What do I look like, a horse expert? The only thing I know about this horse is that it's the best horse in the game, and she's mine. Yeah. The 
card says it. I said thoroughbred. It says thoroughbred. She's a thoroughbred. Just thoroughbred. Yeah. Hey, you see there. Oh, God. You just want all this information about about my sweet little reverse dapple black. There you go. Yeah. It could have just said best horse color in the game as well, but, you know, whatever. This is how we go to jail, go to jail, go to jail. This is how we go to jail. I gotta do some work first. Gotta build up my new gun, my new gun, my new gun. Gotta put the work in guns before they take all my cash. What's wrong with you? There's a lot wrong with me. Move it before I move you myself. Wow, been a while since you've been back. Uh, it, it has. What can I do for you? Oh, well, yeehaw, fucking gunman. I got a double action revolver these days that needs work done Good. to it. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Well, you, you know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Oh, I just snezzed so hard. Do some rifle. Okay, I only got 11 bucks, <clears throat> so I'm not actually going to be able to do anything. Put some sights on it, though. Boom. That's going to be great. Uh, all right. Well, actually, uh, other than that, I don't really care at the moment. Did I do this? Did I work on this? I certainly did. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. <clears throat> Hank told me a man of the clerk. Bye. Give a fellow a nickel. Pardon me. You really fixing to no intimidate me? Trying to get a rise from me? I'm still here. Hey, easy. I hope you thought about what you done. I hope you thought about what you done. My God, look at you fools. I don't think you understand who I am, boy. Well, at least you got each other. All right, I'm through. I'm taking okay, your sneaking hide to a cold easy. cell. Come on, okay, set I that figure full you know strike. how this goes. No Someone need for a mess. Boom. <clears throat> got the ultimate special edition. That's what was donated to me, yes. Free guns, free best horse in the game. I'll take it. There we go. Look at that. Now I ain't got no bounty. Look well, at me. You happen to know Benedict Albright was cursing you till his last. Who? Mr. Sheriff. Not a bad town you got here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a real shame I shot it up. Anyway, all the best. So long. You all right, girl? Go. Go on, get going. All right, now, can I get back to... still has this thing that I don't like it bothers me but I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put some effort in and get back to Valentine and uh I mean uh Valentine yes snow strawberry strawberry I'm gonna get back the strawberry and uh try to get my get this bounty off my head
Yeah, can you oh, stop that? Oh, yeah. You. Oh, yeah. Someone subbed. They'll tell me in a second. David 306. Thank you, David. 360, actually, not 306. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know my numbers too well. Lordy! Hello there, and welcome. Well, hi. Will you take me to Strawberry? Does does the plate does the train go to Strawberry? It fucking don't. Why am I here? I don't need to be here. I need to go there. The, the, the wagon. Take care now. I need to go to the wagon. Hi, uh, ma'am. Morning. See, I'm a nice person. Look at me go. I can't afford to travel right now. Yeah, of course. I know. I knew that. I knew that, Wait. of course. Well, I could go rob a train. That would help, but, uh... Yeah. Yep. Lord Fritz, hello, been a while? Yes, indeed, sir. Going back to Strawberry, where I am wanted. Hopefully they don't shoot at me. I think that's where the treasure's at. the treasure maps weren't like you know I just I just give me a waypoint I got it I know where that is you know don't make me actually have to put effort in all right you stay here Mister? Well, shit, I got your number, Gallows Bird. All right. Yep. You win. There we go. I'm going to jail. All right, you piece of shit. You're going to accompany me to a cold cell, understood? Absolutely. That's why I'm here. Going to chain you up so tight you won't have room to stand. Get this bounty off my damn head. Hopefully, John, best friend John, don't break me out again. Good. There we go. I ain't got. I am a free man. Look at this. Look at me. Other than right here. Perfect. 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 Ah, oh, fantastic news. Let's get. You are now cold. While cold, your health core will drain faster. Oh, shit. That's unfortunate. Now, I did pack yeah. clothes onto the horse, but every, every once in a while, the clothes get taken away, and that's very annoying to me. Chili. Uh, now I don't think I actually have warmer clothes, even though I, yeah, I just have this. That's great. That's that's good. That's what I like. 
I got that stupid custom outfit, but I don't have. All right. Great. Okay. Good. Good. I'm glad. There we go. That they got a little warmth. Where is this man that I need to kill? Huh? Well, take money from. That's a rock, not a, not a tent. Is it a rock? It is a rock, just perfectly square. Odd, what an odd rock. <laughs> Usually nature is, is, you know, round. Rounded in some way. Might be out of jail, but I'm not free of my bad deeds. Well, that's debatable. I'm a good person. Howdy. Good morning. Oh. Right, you're a hunter. Where is this dude? I'm very annoyed here. I go straight into this, right? Do I? You up on a oh, fun. Just fun times. Just having some fun. Way okay. Wee! 
You sent me something on Discord, Jimmy. Did ya? Did ya? Let's let's see. Alright, thank you for that proof that my horse is better. That's very sweet of you. Every time a, a crow calls, a dead man's come back to life to avenge the death of his loved ones. Holmes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. <sighs> Fine. Move. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, need um, uh, need our horses? It's, um... Quite a trip. You think yeah, I'm gonna let yeah. you kill a kitty cat in front of me? Come on, girl. All right. Drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, make me kill a kitty. How dare you, sir? The German-speaking fella, then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was 
precarious that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Uh, how about this then? I guarantee repayment. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming. Out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. How do you know for sure pumpkins ain't cauliflower? Be. Well, Turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like shooting fucking cats. You shooting fucking cats, boy? Not real smart with a man with a double gauge, double double barrel fucking twelve gauge shotgun pointed at the back of your fucking head. Mm mm. No, be telling me you be shooting no cats. This, in another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors, not in the hot stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Shooting those poor, beautiful creatures known as kitties. I'm about to help you, asshole. You know, you could have been a man whore, could have made money that way, so it. I don't have to kill cats. But no. We should leave the horses. Get off your horse. Yeah, I I agreed, horse. This is shit. Get in there. All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't like this. Where the hell's my lantern? is gone.
Use your camera's flash. Will that work? No. You was so beautiful. It's white. Better be rare. You was a pretty kitty. Now I'm just sad. A boo-hoo and shit. Don't you kick me. Okay. Seriously? I can't kick you? I can't shoot you in the fucking head? Fine. Son of a bitch. Whoa. You done good, girl. There you go. Are you gonna be my horse now? I'm going back in because that's a big old cave. And I feel like I missed something. I had to have missed something. Big old cave like this has got to be treasure somewhere. Plus, every single time I'm in an area similar to this, and I leave, they're like, well, no, you can't, don't do that, don't leave. Look, like, there's a hat right there. I should be able to take that hat. There's a hat right here. Can I have the hat? That'd be great. No, don't pick it up, loot it. Whatever, I guess.
of all times where I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be thorough. There really isn't anything here. So, it's telling me to go to the butcher here. Should I do that? Because it's telling me to do it. Because I would think what I need to do is actually fast travel all the way over here to uh, Trapper. Because it's a, it's a legendary coat, right? Slow it up. Can I, I cannot set up camp right now. I guess I have to. I guess I do it. I thought you had to sell these certain pelts to only to the trapper. Can I sell, can I just sell legendary things to any butcher then and still it'll count towards the trapper? Or just this one specific coat? Well, only once or twice by other people's horses. What can I do for you? Oh, it's just rare. It's not legendary. Okay. Real good doing business with you. All right, yeah. then. camp. It's three o'clock. This means it's five minute break time, everyone. So grab your cogs, grab your trots. We'll see you back here in five minutes time.
right, y'all bunch of fuck faces, we're back. Welcome back. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's so important. Only this channel can grow if you help. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Sean, how you doing there, fella? You must be nervous, being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> I was just looking out for you. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good. Will you seek out and tame the white Arabian? Why? He didn't show me anything that says that my horse is worse than that horse. I mean, I'll seek out and kill the White Arabian. I'll do that. Should I do that? Maybe I should go do that. Come on, play far. What'd you call me? I'll be Achilles, you be Hector. I don't read none of that nonsense. It's easy. You swing your sword like this. <laughs> now ain't such a good time, kid. Guess it never is. Hey, Jack. Uh, hey, Arthur. John, play with your damn boy. I mean, I know eventually you're gonna be a super great dad and all, but like, you know, just, just spend time with him now, cause you ain't gonna have much time later, cause you know, you're gonna get betrayed and asshole's gonna kill you and shit, and that's gonna suck, and I'm gonna have to play as that little piece of shit. And now he's not as cool as you. Mr. Morgan. Oh. Hey, can we talk about this later? Uh, oh, yes. Of course. Sorry. Thank you. Please shut the fuck up. Sadie. Hi, Arthur. The hell the poker was going. I was going to do stuff. Ugh. Pinkerton's bounty hunters. It all feels. We've been in bad situations before, but. I feel like my whole life's been one long bad situation. I'm a mother. Yeah. It's the truth, Arthur. I know. It's all you want, but it's the truth. I'm afraid. First time in my life. I know, my dear. What are we gonna do? Is Dutch, I, I mean, he's always found a way, but lately I- I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Grab I John and go. Stop being strange and tell her to make plans. Listen to Jose, Abigail. Wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm. Don't worry, John will come through at some point. He's just not, not quite the man he needs to be yet. He will be, though. What a man he'll be. Oh, John. Oop, uh, okay, I'm playing five finger filet. I meant to say hi, but all right, I'm gonna cut my own finger off okay. here. Here we go. Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, well... Things all went a little crazy. 
Ooh, my heart's racing. I'm actually fairly decent at this in real life because I had a lot of practice in grade school with my uh in grade school because we used to use pens but we kept the caps on so there was no actual danger of hidden and of course kids back then they didn't lie they'd be like oh no I hit my finger you can mean you know there's no pain so if you can just ignore the like ignore the fact you can just pretend you you never hit yourself okay then Teachers and parents uh, must have been happy to see children playing this. It was just a, just a thing they did. Five, eh? All right. Oh. No, it, why didn't it work? By, way, by accident. You're about to put a big hole in that hand of yours. I am not having fun with this guy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. All right, AY. Thank you for subscribing. My money. Play? No. I'll <laughs> leave before you lose a hand. <laughs> you be well. <laughs> that was fucking data levels of speed there. <laughs> you know, that android from Alien. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, hello. All right, outfits. Boom. Yes, we should store that on the damn horse. And also, this this winter gunslinger was supposed to be 
on there as well. But it weren't. Do I play online? Uh, only off stream for like an hour or two with my girlfriend. That's about it. Bushiness is getting a bit much. I also really need a bath. Don't you have a fancier vest? I got that that red leather one that I wear with a trench coat. But I like this one. It's simple. If I jump in the water, is that a bath? Oh, Arthur, it is good to see you. You okay, Maybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store, and I ran for my life. Why you were you robbing? Here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. Why am I bleeding? You should go to St. Denis and have a three hour closed shopping spree stream. <laughs> that was my first stream. Mr. Morgan. Put some of that debt money in the box. Okay. He's dead, yep. though. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. All right. Sean, you want to rob a homestead? Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? <laughs> because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? There you go, girl. You need some food. It's okay, girl. All just right, just... let's do this. Watch it. Look out. Yeah. How far is this place? 
It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. Get ahead of me, jeez. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch is always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go out. What the hell? After the... I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I bet, I bet Dutch I pockets all the money. Shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> no, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. <laughs> Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing. I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Let's get going. Up here, Morgan. Whoa. Ha. This music. Go up! Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, oil deal with. sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. I only have six... Oh, okay. I thought I had more express rounds than that. Look, there's 
tunnel me outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Hey, how come I actually have iron sights? I never get iron sights. Hey there! Why is iron sight suddenly a thing? Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna give you about five seconds. Fill off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Okay, well, that wasn't very smart. Watch it! They're coming out! We got more coming out of the woods! I thought I shot Sean there. Go on the right. Still got more inside. <laughs> Come out with your hands up. Nice and easy. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. Where you stash your money, and we let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Okay. You're a cold one, Morgan. A cold one. I just don't trust you to be able to hold a hold a gun on him. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? I just, I just didn't trust you, Sean, because you know he was probably gonna get away. Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself, a proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. You find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Behind a loose board in the bedroom? Hey, it's over there. Over where? Over here? Oh, yeah. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this. Oh, double sided fireplace, huh? Fucking la dee da. Cigarette card. Hello. You're worth money.
Alright. He's British, of course. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, I thought my chair was stuck. Okay, so Dutch is in town? Dutch is in town. Alright, uh. He does want me. Dutch wanted me to do this over here, so let's do that. Ugh, we got food at camp. I don't need to go hunting. What's my chair situation? Brand new chair. The money donated went into the repairs, the diagnosis, the repair, the changing of the hard drive, the buying of the new hard drive, and getting a new chair. That ain't no gaming chair. No, no, it's not. It's the same same chair I actually had before. I just just bought a new one. Cause they they are good chairs. They last they last quite a while. And this time I got a goddamn warranty on it, so when it ine inevitably breaks again, I just get a new one for free. Hear the gray plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Coming in or what? <laughs> hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world.
Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. Complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. So I got a sneak, and I don't know how well that's going to turn out, because stealth is ah, typically a thing in Rockstar games. to the gazebo. It's not a bad idea.
Oh, well, here's some water. And it's foggy. That was really easy. Ma'am. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. Bam! I've got a letter for you. Oh. She is pretty. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but... Also so human. Thank you, Brian. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Oof. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... Stop touching are, your face. Are, no. There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I was gonna say, like, are you not gonna let me swim in the water? I'm dying, I'm losing, I'm losing health. What the hell? What the fuck did you think would happen? Uh, I thought I would swim uh, and not drown for no reason whatsoever. I would very much like to steal this boat, please. Can I steal this boat?
go. Jesus. Now, I need to get, like, over here. For Christ's sake. I did it. Who are you? What is this? Molly. Molly want to talk to me. Right, now get down that dude. Yeah, yeah. back into Elite Dangerous. I miss it. I mean, I'm enjoying playing the shit out of this. I, I just mean in general. I really gotta set my Elite Dangerous back up. That means I gotta, like, build my, my VR thing back up. I gotta reinstall a VR drop so I can have a secondary screen while playing fucking VR and shit. <laughs> like a glove. Get up there, Arthur. Look at this little wagon. Oh, it's Strauss's wagon. Fishing. A fishing thing. There's a fishing thing over there. Fishing. Fishing, everybody. All right. Uh, how much money do I have? I still don't know. Not enough. All right. Man, I did not make much money out of that. I never liked Catholics, Mr. Matthews, but uh, maybe they're right. I need to confess. Fishing. Who am I? Who would I be going fishing with? Is that Lenny? With the O'Driscoll? Fishing with the O'Driscoll? Yeah, all right. You're a good kid. You saved my life. I'll go fishing with you. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. 
I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. Let's go fishing. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Okay. Okay, girl. follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. You just walked by Uncle passed out drunk. Well, it. it's Uncle. Why Wasn't wouldn't that he be? Long ago, I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? It's uh, right here. There's not much further. You know, we could have taken the boat. Is that? This is where we fishing? This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Why do we want yes, smallmouth? Sure. We want big mouth. Much like you. <laughs> big mouth. <laughs> this strip of shore looks perfect. Big the spot. No, we gotta use tap real real all right i'm gonna use some cheese rock bass bullhead yeah so i'm gonna use some cheese <laughs> it's stinky how come i can't Oh, I have to go stand over there, like an asshole. See, and lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Bread or cheese, all right. Yeah, all right. fucking be shit, son of a... You getting many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlint is gonna stick. Yeehaw! Whoa! Not too fast. You could break the line. You see that big, that big old spurt? There you go. Big old splash right at our feet. That was crazy. Loch Ness over here. Nice. Good 
catch, Arthur. It is? Looks like a piece of shit to me. This oily, gritty fish typically pan fried. Cheese is good bait. Now, see if you can hook another. Equip the cheese bait. Continue fishing with my new best friend, Kieran, the O'Driscoll. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promise loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Colm. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who hey, needs to go to confess. Hey, what's the line? Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. Why don't you get the hell out of here before we hook that maggot of yours and see what really bites? Well, aren't you just perfect charmers? Good day to you, then. Let's try our luck somewhere else. I know another spot where hopefully we won't be interrupted. Sounds perfect for the drowning. <laughs> Very fun. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Hold up, O'Driscoll, I'm coming. Shit! <laughs> Shit, what? <laughs> Son of a bitch! I've been meaning to try this spot out. <laughs> Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Gave me a Come boner on, and everything, to too. To the beach. Take my shotgun out. Uh... Okay. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that. Not with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for? Legendary fish location. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you Never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. It don't feel like much of a fighter. Nope, not the big one. Let's keep trying. Well, one less fish to get the, the snag again. You know, I, I once caught the same fish three times in a row. And I was like, you know what? I had enough of this, and I just threw it aside. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, very mean of me. Just like, well, you, you just keep falling for the same trick over and over again. Clearly, you don't deserve to live. Uh, 
See? Look at this. How did you know it was I the same so fish? Because the fucking hole ain't tied to a tree. in its mouth kept getting bigger and bigger each time it bit. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys going to come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're going to kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were going to moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. You got it! That has got to be the one, right? No, it don't feel very big to me. No, that's not it. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on. I'll see you later. I want that legendary fish. Damn it. That was probably probably it. I've hit the wrong damn button. Like a like a fucking ninkum poop. You gotta either go to the bait shop in the swamp. No. Oh. There's a snack. I know, I see the snack. Disappointed me. God damn bluegills. Come on. Come on. Bridget Pittman, hello. Look at you, you're so little and you're giving me this much fight. Ridiculous. Come here. Come here, I'm gonna eat you. Yeehaw! Five pounds. All right. Never mind. You weren't so bad. Largemouth bass. Yeah, that's usually what I catch. I will keep it. They like crayfish bait. All right. So I really want that legendary fish. 
sexy look at it that's how big it is that it that 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 is to scale yeah we got me over here that's the scale that's what i'm gonna catch right there that's fantastic uh i look forward to that now where is this swamp bait thing bait shack You're gonna need a bigger rod. Oh, my rod don't get much bigger. Believe me. Uh. Uh. Don't get. Don't got one. Cool. <coughs> got. Good. Great. Uh. Newspaper. Oh well, fuck it. Fuck it, I guess. Ooh, minor ocular migraine. I'm a. S I am minimally blind. Cool, I'm seeing rainbows off the uh, off the sides of my vision. They're they're beautiful. Squiggly line beside my eye. Why do you run away when I try to look at you? Got a plant here. That's a flower. Hmm. Yes. Uh, dude at camp wanted some of this for the horses. Pelicans. Pick it up all day long to have good luck. Yep, 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 Not sure pelicans make good meat. I'm not sure I give a fuck. This is what the this is what camp's eating. All right, beggars can't be choosers. All right. However, choosers can be beggars. You can choose to be a beggar. Yeah, I don't know when I got iron sights, but now iron sights is suddenly a thing. Can I get one more bird to just fly away?
What's that pinging? What the? Why don't you mind your business and keep walking, huh? A bad hole. I don't like rudeness. Hope you boys chose a full safe. Okay. I'm supposed to use repeaters on deer. A deer got hit by a car outside of my house. Took a shit in my front yard. And then uh, stepped into the road and got hit by a car. Cops came by, put a bullet in it. It lived for another couple hours. Cops came back, shot it again. I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? Do you not know how to shoot a fucking thing to kill it? You're cops for crying out loud. Isn't that what you motherfuckers do? You just shoot things that don't have, uh, that don't also have a gun. Maybe that's what it was. The fur wasn't dark enough. It was a, ra it was a rather pale uh, deer, so. Yeah. I didn't know you could, uh, I didn't know the animals. Arthur, get that horse out of here. Hold on, Molly. Hold on. Yep. I got shit to do. Hold on. 
Yeah, I didn't I didn't know animals had quality. I thought I thought the quality was just dependent on how you shot them. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Okay, well here's some meat. How about that? How about some of this meat too? Here, have some food. Look at all this. Look at it. Ah! Oh, fantastic. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. You're welcome. Hi, Mr. Swanson. Hello there. How you holding up? I can't complain. Five animals using a varmint rifle. Well, son of a bitch. Poker. for playing poker yeah I'm come in. on po john come on in now john yeah good john you ain't wearing your cheating suit that's good probably shouldn't leave my stall unattended like that see you well I'll see you. Check. Man, gotta play it safe. Oh, no nope. poor you, right? I doubt it. Out. Ooh, this could work. Yep. Well, look at that. Look at this motherfucker winning 23 cents. Look at you raking it in now. By the way, has anybody seen my compass? I didn't know you had one. Yeah, yeah, I had it since my first day in the Navy. Can't believe I'd gone and lost it. Hmm, well, keep my eye out for another one. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You know, the amount we move around, it's a useful thing to have. Compass? Huh. Out. Wee! Perfect! Oh, damn it to hell! Yes! This is what I was waiting for! That's it! I'll take it. Ah, uh, John, get used to getting that money. Any of you run into that one lady? Okay, then. I'll check. Doop doop do doop doop do doop doop do doop do that's no good for me, but if another one comes up it'll be great. I'ma check. Uh uh. No. Can I force Uncle out? You're not one of life's risk takers, huh? Ah. Ah. Mm hmm. Ah. I bluffed yes. him. I successfully bluffed somebody in this game. Way. It's nice to have a break from Mrs. Adler. Let me tell you. The AI okay. tends to be a fucking cheat. Yes. I'm going easy. I say I'll it's a bluff. Then. You're holding some real fine cards. Call. <laughs> I'm going big. <laughs> you sure have 
I've gotten good at folding. <laughs> I'm gonna raise that. All right, then. Oh, John, you really want to do this? Sorry, but time to take things up a little. You must be having a good day. Or maybe a real bad one. Sorry, Uncle. You're about to be gone. I got a full house, tens over threes. All in! I'm gonna go... All in. Look at you. Feeling big, huh? Well, look what this old man's got. Here. Huh. Yeah, I know. Well, that ought to treat you right. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Where was you hiding that? <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, to hell with this. Fine. Bye. The guy who voices John is a real life cowboy. He's got a ranch and shit. Well, that's good. I don't Let's know anything see what about each him. This is made of. On the inside, I mean. You think they play this in Europe too? China, maybe? I wonder. Dude, you gotta play. You're the one with the rest of the money. That's it. Check. Here. Let's go. Yeah. Yep, there. I don't want to clear you out, John. I'd rather I'd rather it just be me and you at this table, because I don't really care about this fat fuck. It's just Come it's on, you, buddy. This ain't fun. There ain't no way you're this good. I'ma play slow. A call. At least it's something. At least I got Rich Boy in the game. You gotta step up sometime. Not this one. <clears throat> Everybody's checking. Got a pair of fives. Let's start with this. I got a pair of fives. I say bluff. You're bluffing. Oh, hell. Smart move. Stay out of the game. Let me clear him out. <clears throat> well. A pair of sevens. We there have? we go. Damn. Ah. That's fine. Ah. Pair of fives. That's awful. Uh-huh. Not bad, I guess. Ah, had to break. Here, just a little. Uh... Oh, I could have checked there, but whatever. Huh. Didn't even think about it. I just saw a decent hand and went, yep. Yep. No. No? Uh, I disagree. I know you're there. Hmm. Fold. Have a look. Just pulled through. No, That's no. Ah, uh, he's, he's got an ace kicker. Yes, come on. Oh. I was this close. You were, That's John. As it you were. Be. Come here. <coughs> I'll leave while I'm still breathing. Until next time. Bye, Marston. It was a pleasure. All right, fat fuck. It's me and you. I'm taking your one dollar eighty-seven cents. Mm -hmm. 
Huh. Uh, check. I'll check. You gonna check too? Is that what you're doing? Sure do take a lot of risks, don't you? Ugh, damn. Huh. Ha. I'll take anything. Skip, let's go. Good. I'm just here for fun, all right? I'll call. You got something, because you could have checked for free. Dull player. Shoot. All right, Dan. Yep. Bluffy. Just call me Bluffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. You got a nice ass and fantastic tits. Bluffy. That's me. This is meant to be fun. I can't remember one poker game where you didn't win out of pure luck. You ain't even that good. Looking good. Okay, yes. Liven this up a little, eh? Well, look at you. <sighs> How about this? How That's about all this? I got. Not much of a risk taker, are you? At least it's something. Uh, how about that? Bold move there. No. No? You're just done? Okay. What do we got here? That's all I got. Yeehaw! Oh, no shit. All this for me? All that for you. Good job. You just gained a dollar ten. Just like that. Just like that. There we go. On the upside, I'm still up. I'm st I'm still up eight cents. So there we go. Fantastic. I I'm still in the. I'm still in the green. All right. Profit. Check. I'll check. I'll check. check. Uh huh. What am I doing? I didn't mean to do that. I thought he checked. He checked. Well, it's whatever. Well, what do we? King have? high. I had a queen high. I won. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> What the hell is that? Queen kicker. <laughs> yep, there. It was smart for me to stay in. Ha ha ha. 
I'm guessing you won't be doing any more missions today. I just want my money. <clears throat> That's a good point, though. I, I am up 12 cents, so I'm good enough. I guess I'm about done. Let's go do something. Now, Molly. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. Molly wanted something. Oh, hi, Arthur. Ah. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's doing morphine. Becky, what do you need, Becky Lynch? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so. Arthur. Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes. You are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. What you about are Molly? a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> What about Molly? Also, apparently this I still way. have the uh smart Alex. Deer skin on the back of my horse. How do you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will ya? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be... Passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? Try 
try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know... <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! See the horses. Get out of here, go on. Hey, my horse, my, my mask right. is gone. Just get out of sight. <laughs> Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. When your postmaster texts you the day off, on your day off, and tells you to work a route you've never done before due to the coronavirus. Uh, well, I mean, through rain and sleet and snow and all that shit, nowhere in there does that say plague. So, I'd bring that up to his attention. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't, I, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Huh? Sir. <clears throat> Okay, well, I can't do anything here. Well, the 
place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. How does he not see me? Or am I not? Or is this like a camera angle or something? Okay, this is just a camera angle. <laughs> to do. Out of the way, Uncle. We got more of the bastards on this side. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's going up to security. Move over. Still, someone else fired that gun exactly. How oh, is it my fault? This fella really don't like getting raw. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. I don't know why it came to me up there. Watch it, Charles. And now keep this cold, Arthur. They were sick as from finding us anyway. We'll try that again! I've got this, Uncle. How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall, all right? Who that, folks? Drunk enough for this shit. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Well, they split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Behind these 
rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do. Really? You're right on my right. Shh. from a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. Well, I'm glad you could do something, right? Take this! Uh oh we'll... Those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. Still alive. Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Gwonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. I don't know why I'm so ornery. I just made 123.123. Perfect. I mean, you can't even get angry after that. Go and I got my hat back and everything. Come on. Easy there. Now, I ain't robbed no bank yet. One of the girls was talking about a bank back in Valentine, but we never did that one.
I'd really love to throw these uh, garbage-worn guns away, but I don't know if I can. I thought that wagon was an automobile All for a second. Is, is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? Hmm. Oh, is someone there? Hello? Very good. Uh, hello? Someone there? Can you spare anything for a blind man? You ain't blind. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. Reckon it's time I tried a different spot. I'm surprised Tiny no one piece. shot you for pulling this stunt. You already took my money, all right? Just leave me alone. Oh, come on! It's just a few coins. Let's not make a big deal out of this. You'll have to practice if you want to get away with that parlor trick. Just leave me alone. Please! I I'm really a beggar. <laughs> really! None of them gonna get ya. Ah, apologies. Oh, I still be fine. Okay, okay, I ain't really blind. Just take it easy. No, 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 no. Doop, 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 doop. You are disgusting. You are a piece of shit. Now get the fuck out of here. Thank you for the hat. Let's give him your high school business card and be done with it. It worked, alright? I made friends. That's a big a spicy meatball. Pop the poopies. Uh, what do you have? Uh, well, I want a whiskey. whiskey Hello. Pussies drink Breaker. beer. Men drink whiskey. Ay, ay, ay. It's been pretty busy in the last week. No doubt. Yeehaw! <laughs> Want to give a girl some company? Decline 
or reject. Reject. You change your mind to let me know. Hello, ma'am. Less of a talk. I ain't moving. Okay there. Hi. Hi. What are we doing back here? Careful, big man. It's pouring buckets. All right, well, we're going to call it a day there. Uh, I got some dinner to make anyways, which is good because I'm hungry. Uh, that's how I do it. Story. Yes. Save game. So, yeah, that's going to do it today. Thank you very much for stopping by. Until tomorrow where we will pick up from pretty much right here. I've been Darzelli. You've been a fantastic. I'm telling you.